No, Clockwork's smart enough not to touch any buttons. And you see him teleport but right he was behind smart, the yeah, But he was smart enough to get out of there. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, Amy Super, after the fire, she's completely vulnerable on the backside until the lightning strikes. Ooh, good block oh, no. again. Clockwork just trying to make sure that Amy turns into a hot dog right now. But here we go. Clockwork knows that no longer has um, X Factor. Right. Oh, wow. He had a chance to punish there, but Clock got in All there right. first. Now Choice Sauce doesn't have any, uh, any X Factor. I've never, I've rarely seen this happen. So I don't yeah. really know what to say. <laughs> Phoenix, no X Factor. The other person has no X well, Factor. This is the kind of interesting thing because I've always said that I believe Dark Phoenix is actually not as broken as everyone says she is when she doesn't have X Factor. Of course, yeah. Because then her life drains. And, oh, but you know what? Just not enough life to take all that chip there. Couldn't open her up. Yeah, e even with a... Um, he did multiple slow supers. Still got nothing out of it. Right, him. right. I would, I would have liked to have seen him not use the slow super, but more of the Okami shuffles to I chip from a screen away. But I did... But he probably was more scared because of the first time uh, clock already went ahead. That's true. And you know what? She probably could have teleported behind. Ooh, like did you did see before. that? Oh. It was an unblockable setup yeah. that he has with uh, using Taskmaster's overhead swing. Yep. So and, uh, too easy one. Thank you. The earlier choice last kept... Oh, no. It was Jint who was always trying to do the dia the shot down into the diagonal super. Uh -huh. Just do the simple straight down one and that'll do the job for you. He does that actually for the dragon because his DHC into Captain America and Ryu will be able to catch otherwise. Be oh yeah, yeah. The but the one time he missed it earlier, if he had done the straight down one, the opponent would have died. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He it was low enough that he could have just killed him. And look at this, Choice House with a huge lead. But here comes the Clockwork Doom comeback. Missed the air dash a little bit in the air, so he couldn't keep the combo going. That's gonna oh, work. Oh, finger lasers. Still level three X Factor. Oh, Ooh, smart play I like there. I, I don't know if, if Clock was trying to go for a cross, cross underneath um, launcher. Yeah. It looked like it might have been. Yeah, I wonder what would have happened if Clockwork tried to activate the up super. Would he have actually no, it wouldn't have worked because the, the down arrows. It would have been faster. The down right, arrows right. would have been faster. Probably would have hit Doom before he even got a chance to throw anything up. So. Ooh, I like that relaunch. All right, here we go. Eminem loops there. Oh, and builds five meters right away. Look at that. Just like that. Builds five meters. But he's still vulnerable to that unblockable, that unblockable setup. That right, right. Has. Now, is Toy Talk going to do it? Or? Well, the thing is, he has to actually turn Phoenix dark first before he can do that setup. And Phoenix is still light right now. Yeah, but... Well, that's done. He's going to use a meter now. Oh, sick. Oh, did not have to. I like that. Sick. Great blocking there from Choice House. Oh, back throw. He's going to get the launch off yeah. of that. Oh, wow. Once it again. It wasn't close to the corner, though. Yeah, Clock missed, missed that combo just a little bit. Ooh. He could have done a super and I would have caught him. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Ooh, Punish the dog. Hard tag. So the dog is going to be dead now. He's snapping in Phoenix now yeah. because, like I said, he wants to turn her dark now so he can get that unblockable setup on her. Yeah, when she comes in. Right, when she comes in. No, no, she can't anymore. She's not that Oh, yeah, you're right. Forgot. That's kind of a key component. Ooh. Did that a little too early. Did you see that? Clock was just holding that hard tap button. Yeah. Like, get out, get out, get out. Please, God, get out. The one advantage of the tag out mechanic of holding the button. Oh, nice. DH seeing the punish. Oh, he hit that, us. That's two. That hit two. Yeah, he caught Doom as well. All right. Oh sort of looking God. up right now for Choice Sauce. Never mind. Yeah, trap I like that. Yeah, I like that. Clock, oh, Clock always said that. Like, when he catches a, 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 a key combo with Phoenix to blow X-Factor to not to blow X-Factor, he, most of the time he'll choose to use right, X-Factor right, right, right. or use a super. All right, good stuff there from Clockwork, taking right. it over Choice Sauce. And now this is Loser's Finals, Clockwork versus Fnatic. Winner of this will go on to face against Marn Nito. Marn? I didn't Marn. Mar M-R-N-M-C-Z Marn. M-A-R-N. No, just M-R-N. And Bingo -N. was his name. Oh. <laughs> Well, actually, the cool part of this of this one, the losers finals, whoever wins, either one of them gets a salty run back to Marn, because I believe Marn oh. put them both into losers. No, I think Clockwork lost. Oh no, you're right. I think he did lose the Marn, didn't he? 
Alright. We got a crowd up in the back. All Again. Right. This is the window window to the world of the fighting game community here. Wait, where's the necklace? Where's the 8 bit? I got the holy god on my neck. Does that count? <laughs> Not really 8 bit. It's helping me with a tournament. It's all that matters. Exactly. You know, you play you play a game, you say a silent prayer. Yeah, ask Manatic. If you guys are wondering what that is, it's his um Fanatic's new web show actually but where it's called Ask Fanatic, not Manatic. Stay free. He's just Stay being free. trolled right now. <laughs> who, need, who needs to know how to spell? Aura, David. So Clockwork and Fanatic now. Um, this can go either way right now. Oh, uh, losers. Clock's using the the Doom missiles right now for this, this instead of the beam. Oh yeah, I noticed. Interesting that it, he could switch between the two. Yeah. Smart play. Smart player will probably be able to get that in there. Done. Hailstorm. Yep. Oh, I like that. Fnatic uh, Clockwork already went out with a three and a half practically. Did you see that Fnatic set up there? He was trying to get Clockwork to do a push block in the air so he could go for an air throw, but it also opts and selects into the, yes. the H anyway. Yes. And if it hits, he gets the frying pan, which knocks him down. Such an effective mix-up and not going... Oh, he, he tried to fake going high. He caught him low. That, that oh, he caught her. Wasn't supposed to work, but okay. Was that supposed to work? Or? I don't think so. Clock looks a little confused. Okay, okay. That, that, that was um, a low H moment. I swear it came out. All right, Fnatic uh, taking the first game right now. This is losers finals yet again, three out of five. Oops, not a proper punish there. Yeah, this is the problem with not having the beam. Harder to get in past the uh, the magnetic EM but, disruptor. Uh, Clockwork is either like really hoping that uh, the Doom missiles interrupt right. the possibility of a full cool combo for Magneto. That was really it. interesting that Clockwork didn't get any combos off to the ground bounce. He might have actually been thinking about looking out for like an assist with Sentinel drones or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But the Sentinel drones actually weren't didn't come. Ooh, Sword actually uh, crossed up Storm, but he right here we go. He's get the launch. He's not gonna come onto a superhero. Oh, he yeah, is. He is. Again, yeah, Clockwork also, I see a DT right now, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna do it. Wants to finish Storm up, and she lives! Wow! Ooh, he's gonna get two characters on Happy birthday. Oh, Another wait. one, yep. Oh, yeah. He waved that to get the full length. Right. And then did another right. one. That was smart, the smartest way to be able to capture <laughs> another one with Magneto. Finally, when a Fanatic's characters go down, but you know it doesn't even really matter because Clockwork has got the Dark Phoenix coming. But I, I would think that Fanatic would have would had enough experience in this matter to open up Phoenix multiple times and block properly multiple times. So that's pretty much what it is. Right. It just basically becomes a uh, clock mixed up versus Fanatic. Yeah. And Clock missing a combo there just barely here, and is gonna get Dark Phoenix maybe. No, not yet. No, he wants to save the... He, uh, he probably wanted to either save... Save the meter, yeah. yeah. But I feel like he should have did something right there. No, because I was like, either save the meter or actually, like, lay him out the match. Right. X. Nice. Smart play there. See, in this game, when you make a decision, it's either going to bite you in the ass... <laughs> Yo, offcast, seriously. Yes, there's like four people back here. Oh, nice. Comboing off no, of that. The, the, the missiles. Yeah, see, yeah. playing a, a more strict keep away game because he doesn't want to be able to touch him. Right. And so he's using the jumping age, which covers a lot of space. Using the, the hidden missiles to kind of temper uh, Magneto's offense. Yeah. But here he goes, he got in, and he's got the snapback. Ooh, that was unsafe, actually. You could have punished that. Ooh, he had two opportunities there. Really close opportunity there. Oh, but see, Fnatic actually should have been able to, like, ex 
expect the hard tag and actually just block high. No one ever blocks high when they expect a hard tag. Here we go. That's Open not, up yeah, Phoenix. That's not the way you want that to go. But Clockwork did it on block. Yeah, but fortunately for Clockwork, he's got Doom. Oh, not that safe. He should have no. tried standing M. Standing M comes out a little faster. OTGs as well. Yes, yes. That would have been a better chance. Oh, that's going to catch him. See, Fnatic is one of the smartest uh, DHCs in the game because, you know, when you DHC in a storm, you kill all of her startup time, so her hail comes out instantly. Yeah. So it's so easy to punish things. Ooh, good team. Good blocks. Unfortunately, didn't block that one. Woo! I like that Woo! one. <laughs> Foot dive, air dash down, air dash cancel. Level three, boom. That's, that's probably gonna that's, kill that's Sentinel. Done. That's done. This game Hot is over. over. Yo, yo, fin Fnatic with you the know, face palm. I, or the head palm. I think I would the like palm. to I would like to shave my head when you just so I can do that too. You know what I mean? Yo, one of these days we'll have a little like charity uh, for well, you know what the problem is when I shave my head? I look like the last emperor, you know? Like, I run around with the same head all day, you know? <laughs> Lord Chen. Yeah, it doesn't look right at all. Ooh, that was weird. Ooh, drones. Clockwork really wanting to get some breathing room right now. Didn't get it, unfortunately. Oh, oh wow. He keeps Ami alive, but that way he can finish Phoenix up. <laughs> Here we go. The pad, the pad is loose. He's gonna use the meter and We're DHC. Done. Yep. The Phoenix is already down, so he doesn't need to save the meter. Oh, is he gonna catch her? Oh, he's slow mode. Okay, never mind. That's now smart. He's, gonna he's actually, yeah, he's actually under, like directly. Right. Uh huh. So either that was the wrong side or up. Oh, he opened her up. He actually crossed her up with the jumping M. But then Doom dropped the combo. Oh, and air dash. Yeah, Fnatic's not pushing back uh, Clockwork at all. Well, he can't because he was blocking the the, the, the Cold Star. And oh, you can't yeah, you can, Cold you can't Star put back. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Let's, get, let's I mean, get rid of the problem. That's why I always say that. One of the things about Clockwork's Doom is that a lot of it is aided by the fact that he's got... Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Okay. Corner combo right here. And then he should be able to... You should be able to do a Tiger Knee level 3. No. Why isn't he not leveling 3? What, why didn't he ever level 3? That was really interesting. It's just execution errors. Execution errors. Twice. Twice. Yeah. And those were game and those were game breaking executions. Yeah, exactly. But you see it happens to everybody. We saw it happen to Justin versus Leslie. And, uh, it happens Canada to your Cup. Joe Blow and it happens to your pro players. Yeah. It's just how well the pro players recover from it, you know? That's what makes them drop. Right, exactly. Some people get mind f pretty bad. Oh, nice air dash right now, over that. we're changing his strategy now. Like, you know, it's kind of going in there a little bit more. Right. But okay, he here, come, the here comes the Phoenix. Oh, is he going to get her? Next. Oh, oh he missed it. Because he actually could have right. could have gotten just a regular launcher right. and it would have worked. Probably thought he wasn't quite close enough or something. He went for the standing H instead. Clock were getting opened up pretty easily right now. Oh overhead! I like that. Clock actually blocked the crop of the um, launcher. Right. Ooh, oh two fakes. And Clock could have got a level three off of that one. Yeah, Zoom is still live. He's gonna still live. And look at look at look at the damage yeah, Magneto the the stump. Oh nice air throw! Yo, we got the fuck. Alright, it's Yo, not we got over. Everyone yet. back here in the commentary. Oh booth. hard drive every time. Every time. Catch him no. You could have caught him with a uh, crouching M. But you know what? He didn't want to accidentally miss something. That's hard. Hard drive again. All right. Yeah. All right. Fnatic takes, taking it back. Mark back up on it. All right. Good stuff there. Good stuff there. And I think it's time for me to leave. Karate. Everyone, you all were awesome. Enjoy. What the fuck was that? Hey, do you want to you want to stick around, actually? Sure. Stick around. And I'm on the other side now. 
Yo, Offcast on it right now. Switching names on the fly. All right. So what's James doing? I have no idea. Hey, James, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, Brad, just been nice. That's awesome. Sick. <laughs> That's awesome. What have I done to deserve this right now? And oh. I don't care, but I'll run with it. Solid. So I guess we're going to do grand finals now. Marn versus Fnatic. Now run back. Oh, are you? That's my friend. Oh, nice. He's my Akuma. Oh, yeah? You're, <laughs> you're the Wolverine, so he's the backup? He's your sidekick? Don't tell him I said that. Wow. Stay free, Razor. Wow. All right. So grand finals now. Um... Marm, Mad Cat's Marm. Against Ask Fnatic. Okay. Hold up, Redland. I don't know, man. Something crazy is happening. Back to the match right now. Yeah. Ask Fnatic. Doing well with Storm. Comes into the DHC trick. Well, he's going to have to pass through Magneto. It doesn't have enough meter. It wouldn't matter anyway. Magneto's going to let it rock. Yeah. yeah. Didn't have it. Didn't need it. All right. Now here comes the problem. Oh, nice block. It was hard block to see which twice. way it was. Yeah. Nice. He's got both. No drops. That could have been big. Would have been big. Yeah, Fnatic needs to be careful on this one because if he gets hit with a buster on both heroes, I mean both um, both characters, that's a bad happy birthday. Interesting, interesting fishing there because he had no more meter and you can't expect her in the air in this game. <laughs> well, has Fnatic been like, testing this also? Because we're, we're seeing tendencies right now. Yeah, we are definitely right seeing now. tendencies. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting. You know, this is this is a funky week because it's a, it's a week after some people have already played it. And you can definitely see that. Like maybe maybe last week was like really the last week of of FTW. Some chip. Oh, what a setup right there! That took away half of his life. That was that was creative stuff. Oh, watch out! Trying to meet him up in the air. Yeah, right. And whatever, he's not gonna take Chippy Head X Factor at the time, so no big deal. Up in the air, trying to blam. Oh, low, low, low. Caught him on the back dash. That's that is it for Sentinel. Easy. X Factor just he's going to have a tad left when she comes out. Oh. Yeah, dash up. I like the clock. Nice. It'll, it'll work. It'll work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is he still doing it? Yeah, he was. Pretty even on life right now. He's gonna they, both, they both don't have enough meter for a super. So right. Nice block there by Marn. Yeah, I, I, I really like that control of Storm. Dashing back. Oh, that's probably going to be it. Dashing back to make the cross up and overhead. Yeah. But Marn takes that one. Um. <laughs> what is that about? I don't know who that is. Apparently, that's some emote that everyone puts up on the stream chat. Long story. Dang, I don't know. What is going on? Two happy birthdays. Oh, jeez. An X Factor. X Factor just like that to kill Akuma. Did he, did he think that he had Magneto at the same time? Oh, okay. Well, it's going to work wow. out anyway. No more. I love Fnatic's conversions on his hit confirms. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, as, as, hard, as, as hard as I would try to imitate that, I, I can't. And right now, it's looking like Fnatic's about to take this right now with a level three. Oh, no, he's not going to do a level three. He's going to do a... Why not? Oh, he is. Yeah. He's going to be able to combo in the corner if he needs to. Doesn't need to. Doesn't need so to. I, I heard that in Ultimate, this is going to be a perfect. If there's red life left, it's going to scream perfect. That is the perfect, yeah. yeah. Everybody wants. It's going to everyone all hyped up right now. And I, I think that opening with Magneto Magneto was so interesting. They both have H, obviously. Yeah. One of them has Akuma, though. As you saw right there, Mario got smacked. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, one of the stronger startups in the game is the fact that Magneto can't so if you pair that him with a Hagar, or Tron, or Akuma, you, you you honestly have a good start. On oh yeah, that. just just walk toward press H. Mm -hmm. Yeah, H assist. Oh, counter mistake clearly. Get him out of there. Ooh, I don't know about that's invincible on startup, but it's not invincible long enough. I think he was yeah. I think he was actually trying to go for a DT to get him out of there, but Zero would have gotten hit anyway. So right. Lose yeah, maybe he thought better of yeah, it afterward, lose, yeah. Lose a character, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Better to lose Magneto than Zero on this, uh, for, for Marn, anyway. Yeah. Well, everybody knows that Marn is, um, Zero is Marn's main screen. Yeah. 
Definitely. But right now, Varn is losing to the keep away game really bad. Yeah, one thing I really like about the women um, Fnatic's team is comprised is that his, his two, the, the Storm and Magneto, can both play either this keep away game or kind of a hit and run or pressure. Like, they're yeah, both, they're very versatile characters. And you can also say that they also with the... Right, yeah, the, the, the assist can be used offensively, it can be used defensively, it can be used to zone. Oh, unfortunately, oh, he's gonna Tiger need a super, but he didn't want to. Well, Marn has come, oh, okay. There we go, stay free, Marn. <laughs> stay free, Fnatic. Oh, yeah, you're right, that is a little dude who shows up on the stream chat all the time. I was wondering what that was about, you never knew. Right. Yeah, so Marn is coming from winner's finals, yeah. from, from winner's side. Fnatic is on the verge of resetting it, but here comes Marn in the third game. Oh, oh no, wanted shockwave. Yeah, not quite. Marn really trying to keep the pressure on here, does not want to go back to having to play, getting in on keep away. Okay, dash is back. To that winner's final. You see, he, he dashed back in order to make sure that Fnatic would have to stay in the corner. He did yep. not want to let Fnatic out. Oh, H just like that. Oh, but he missed. He misses the dash down. Oh, oh man. man. He tried to level three yeah, through. It, it did not work. And he lost three meters, which sucks. And he lost the character. That does suck. even more. Might have been better off snapping for that, you know, various, for the, the one frame. Mm -hmm. the, the counter to expect a two blocks on plus yeah, button. That, that piece of information came way too late. In oh, the, in totally. The series, yeah. Totally. They're like it's really not going to be important yeah. anymore because it's being changed in ultimate. Snaps is getting slowed down. Yeah, and every and everyone was like, "Oh, Wolverines are done for." I'm like, "Yeah, good luck trying to implement that in your gameplay yeah. by next week." Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> for next week too. Like that's it. Well, it was, come on. Oh, yeah. oh Our, nice! Oh, he's got the robot still, birthday, but he's got to let no, it go. See, that was smart. Yeah, that was smart. Got to let it press go. Press S. He would have been vulnerable all the way, all the way down. Yeah. He doesn't want that. Yeah, I've had to just let it, let it drop. Level three and a back dash. Nope. Yeah, you got him. Huh. He did a crouch cancel it. He, yeah, he still has X-Factor, so this should be it here. Okay, no, he wants to keep it no, going. No. He actually, on that one, since the Fisherman switch, he wanted to stay up in the air and come down with the lightning run for a problem. Right, for the, yeah. For the timing was off. I mean, I, he could, yeah, he could have just came out of the head with the lightning run. Don't you think he could have not done that and just done um, Rikoha X Factor and then like gone up and killed him? You're just free. Don't blame the stick. Ma yeah, Marn is saying that his stick is broken. He's so good that he just beat Fnatic on a broken stick. Yo, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's how we. Oh, that's why he kept getting small buster shots. Okay, it's so because you're, you're trying to hold it down and it was letting go. Shot. It was letting it go. Yeah. That's too bad. I'm calling BS. <laughs> He just <laughs> he forgot he forgot how to oh, yeah, how to how to hold the buttons. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm talking about Mad Cats. The shit broke. <laughs> stay oh free. yeah, that's right. Stay yeah. free, Marn, and let everybody yeah, know. and let everybody great, know. Great job, Marn. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, was, it was a Hori stick. He was playing Hori earlier. Nah. Okay, they're already back into it. He's not gonna button check. Just assumes they're everything's I good. Like Marn's and it looks face. like it. Yeah, it's a Mad Cat stick. It'll work. It'll work anyway, right? It works. Good it job, works. Frank. Good job, Frank. Yeah. Getting those sponsors in there. All right. So Marn continuing to put the pressure on. Oh, might have yeah. had a chance. Marn's not letting this go. Anymore. Yeah, I mean he, he has a very different style than Fnatic. It's much more offensive. Yeah, it's kind of like these two are always in a clash in the middle. But uh, Fnatic actually really good show a keep away space. Yeah. Yo, off that zero. Off well, I mean, he, he has this now. He's not going to give up this corner very easily. Okay, had to back off. That's not going to hit. That oh, will. that'll hit, though. <laughs> that will, though. That, hit, that hits oh instantly. Oh, my God. That That's was one devastating. Frame. One That's so smart. Nice. Great, great job. He's going to... Oh, fanatic. It looks like he's going to reset. Oh, Marn didn't see that. Let's see the extended combo. Yeah, be fancy. Okay, not going to be too fancy That's about it. Works. That works. One frame again. And so that's reset, right? That's three to one. Yo, Mario was looking hot at the beginning of that one too, then just lost it with the X Factor. Yeah. Alright. Alright. So, alright, Fnatic right now just on the ropes again. 
Yeah, but I mean, Martin has opened pretty strongly in a few of these games, and yet there's already been a reset. Do we call it the commentator's curse when we say you're doing good and they just start, like, Yeah, but it? I mean, I'm so used to that happening now, I don't even bother pointing it out. Okay, call it. Yeah. Alright. I, 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 I just assume that I screw everybody oh, whenever I talk. That, that mix up? Oh! Two lightning rods with the, with the shadow clones. And then Akuma says, and then teleport. Yeah. That was dirty. Serious yep. stuff. Yep. All right, so Martin is looking really solid. Hopefully for him, he'll be able to take out Storm all the way, and he got the combo. Yep. So Sentinel comes watch, in. Watch, this setup. watch hard drive. There it is. Oh, he tried to punish with Buster, but it's a little bit too late. It's pretty hard to tag the, uh, the recovery on that move. Oh, he saw Akuma getting hit. It's a happy birthday. Wow, and Marn. I think, I think Marn thought that... Fnatic was going to let go and stop pressuring and so tried to hit him with his own zero but got picked up by the B. Wow, it looked so good for Marn until two seconds ago. Wow. Just like that, Fnatic. Murder face Marn. Boom. H. Oh, yeah. I love this opening. He used that before against the other Magneto player. Get right over the H. And take him out. That's it for Akuma. That's it for Magneto. Now zero, even with a zero with an X Factor. No, I don't know whether he'll be able to get all the way in against you know a, a team that's a team that's really good at playing keep away and zoning. And that's it. You're done. You're done. Yo, Martin. Fnatic is on the verge. Tournament game. I'm just. Yeah, he should have stuck with the broken stick. The broken stick was working out better for him. Allegedly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow, wow, nice side switch. He's just being fancy. Yo, yes. This Marn right now, on it. As he will do. Don't worry about it. We got a happy birthday coming. Ooh, I like that. Calling the Akuma just to extend. Tiny more bit. damage. Yeah, a little bit. That does make sense. Oh, he was, he was hoping to cover the hole. Launcher, but does um, Hailstorm instead. So smart. Wow, Akuma just dead like that. So yeah. much chip on Magneto too. That's only a level two also. Oh my Dumb. god, okay, just like that, it's... Marn is basically on the ropes right now. Marn is on the ropes. Yo, Marn was Marn had a happy birthday. That's it. At him right now. Hold that for me, Marn. That's it. Oh, no? No, the HT is just chip him on the way down? All right, whatever. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a dead sentinel. Ooh, that it's not was, over yet. That was devastating. Not going to be chipped. He's just hoping that it just presses the... He was pressing a button and then he would... That press a button, get hit, or yeah, waste, waste time. Expect. Waste time. But X Factor doesn't even really matter all that much. No, oh, he's fly. I mean, he only needs to hit a couple of times. Oh, there it is! What a comeback by Marn. I thought he was done for sure. That was great. That was great. Really X, thought, really X Factor level dead. 3 with 0 just like erased Sentinel from the planet. Really thought that he was dead. I wish it had been like an anime where like Sentinel split slowly in half, and that's a death animation. Again. Next one. Good Next one. Air dash up. Hyper grab. And DHC glitch is going to bring zero in. We set all that damage. Hit stun. And that should be it for Magneto. And now is he going to stick with zero? Or is he just going to run out of the shadow clone? Yep, there we go. Okay, makes so sense. Down, so oh, down. just like that. He's going to be able to build DHC glitch meter. Yep. And two right now. Good call. And that's going to be good enough to kill, assuming he gets the combo. Okay, so here comes Sentinel. He's had hard drive on the way in a lot of times. Oh, finally. Sick job. I, I really like Marn not being afraid of hard drive. Because Fnatic has come in with hard drive a bunch today, and Marn just didn't get dissuaded from doing it. Good stuff. And now he's got to deal with Big Robot. Fnatic on tournament game still. Oh, Good. other side. You never see a cross underneath with a 20-foot robot. That's awesome. Oh, he tried to X Factor through, but he was late on the on it. Nope, oh, jump. I don't think so. This is anybody's game. Marn trying to waste some of the X Factor there for Sentinel. Oh, did he pick him up? He That's got him. Done, done, done. Wow. And Marn evens it up in the final set, two to two. Godlike reactions on that one for the hiccup from the Oh Hadouken. man, yeah, seriously. All right, oh, and great reactions there to confirm it. He wants the corner. I really like that. That's so you know, sick. Look at that. The cross up to get to the corner, then go into a rom. Uh, so sick. And I wonder why I'm not in the top eight. <laughs> <I know. laughs> 
Storm it now. Storm didn't last long last time. Oh, she might not. No. The second lightning rod popped him out. Jumps over the drones. And yeah, we have this. Yeah, Fnatic needs to do something. Yeah, Fnatic needs to do something right now, like drastic. Nope. Well, wow. you might have to wait smart. until Sentinel comes in. Right. Oh no! Oh, he okay. did get it. Wow. Yeah, he did get it. X back there. Okay. Sweep. I like that. I like the sweep in order to make sure that the combo continues on. It's the little things because sometimes you always overly expect your combo to work, but for some strange reason it doesn't. Very smart of Fnatic's part to like, you know. Ensure it. Uh, yeah. Pop. And that's going be it. Since he was um, an X Factor, no matter how low the ground it is, he still got half of the animation, which hit zero. Otherwise, normally that oh, wouldn't work. Oh, is this going to be tournament point? Uh, yeah, it is. I think it is. It is. And right in the... Yeah, oh, I like that. Rocket and punch. tournament, Fnatic. Fnatic takes Wednesday night fights. Um, 3.2, what are we in? It doesn't matter, Fnatic, one of these points. In any case, okay, that was the last Marvel vs. Capcom 3 FTW Wednesday night fights. Tournament ever. That was the and last Fnatic one. is your last, last winner. winner. Yes, he is. Um, For Vanilla, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, ne next, next week we will be having... Uh, next week is... Yes, uh, we're going to have a Saturday event for special... Yeah, so a Saturday on... So yeah, date? Saturday the 18th? Yeah, Saturday November 18th. As in a week 18th. and a half from now. Yeah, because the game comes out on Wednesday. Right? Next Wednesday. And so we're going to be playing it that night here? Yes, and then we're wow. having a special event hey, what's up, on YouTube? the 18th. Uh, right. Here at Super Arcade, that's a Saturday. Right. So if you guys can't make it to Wednesday Night Fights on a normal basis, please come down. Yeah, please come down. And you got to understand, Marvel 3, even though it's like almost, it's done now, obviously. Right. We've been having consistent, strong, strong showings of people coming here. So uh, if and you're going to come, I, I've had a, I gotta bring say, shorts. <laughs> it's going to be hot, <laughs> literally. I've had a really good time uh, watching Marvel 3 Evolve. It's been really cool. I, I, I like that it's become a more consistent game. Like the, the placers in the finals and the top eights at, at majors have become much more normalized. Yes. Um, it's really kind of like evened out a bit. And I, I, don't, I don't mind randomness, but you know, for the first couple of weeks of Marvel, it's all like, who was this person? It was crazy going nuts. Yeah, you, like, we, yeah, we did not know how to commentate on this one. Well, I never commentated before. No, I mean, I remember, I remember the first times we did it. It was mostly just confusion and like, wow, it look worked. at that. Yeah, it worked. Oh, X Factor. Oh, he's yeah. dead. Yeah. There's, there's no, there's no thought process between like he did this because of that. Right. And yeah, I actually I partially look forward to seeing not being able to say that again and learning about it again. Oh yeah, totally, man. One of, one of my favorite parts of any fighting game is the first month or so when we're all coming up with like brand new technology yeah, every day. Everything's, everything's every time surprising. you go to a yeah. tournament, every time you go to casuals, you see something new. Exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely gonna look forward to that. And I mean, I started going to Wednesday Night Fights for Marvel 3. Yeah? yeah. And then, personally, myself, I've evolved from being a super scrub back then to being a strong contender at Wednesday Night Fights. Yeah. So, I, I look forward to that's seeing... Really cool. yeah, that's I, really cool. That's really That's not even that long a time, frankly, no, so... Not. And also being more involved in the community, I, I've yeah. um, enjoyed it a lot. Especially now that I'm allowed back here for some strange god reason. And uh, I, I paid the right people. Yeah, pay him off. All right, we, we got to do some stuff. AJ Papa coming on live. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot, Upa. What's up, AJ? All right, guys. We have a, a bit of a service announcement. So Red Rapper is uh, making a new film uh, called Ran Bad, and yeah. he had a special message for everybody. So uh, in video form, he's gonna. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play that right now. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, it's me, Red Rapper. Uh, some of you may know. It, no, stop it! No, no Dutch tilt. No, stop, stop it. This is not Battlefield Earth. You stop that. Sorry. You better be sorry. Hey, YouTube. What's up? It's uh, me, Red Rapper. Uh, some of you may know me from my work with like Evo videos and uh, you know, the song Evolve, uh, even like the West Virginia rap battle. Some of you may know me from running away from Ultra David. Uh, for two minutes while the body goes. But I am here actually to announce a brand new project that I've been working on. 
Uh, as you guys may know, um, about a year ago, I did a documentary called Running Back, uh, The Road to SoCal Regionals. Um, and I did three episodes of that, and then I also followed it with another small documentary called A New Kind of Loot, which is a reflection on sponsorships and, you know, kind of the whole, the kind of burgeoning, I, I don't know if I said that word right, but whatever, but increasing the expansion of the community. And uh, I would like to reveal my next project, which is this uh, lovely stack of papers. But Zed, what is that? It's a good question, disembodied voice. Uh, this is a script for a movie called Randat. But why would you need a script for a documentary? Well, that's because it's not a documentary. This is the first narrative film uh, about people who play Street Fighter. Um, to my knowledge, at least. You can see, I have notes up here and like a bunch of little like tabs because I want to be organized and not an idiot. And we're going to shoot it. Uh, I've been working on this for quite a while. Uh, we are shooting it hopefully this month, and we're going to pitch it to Capcom, hopefully with your guys' help. Uh, we want to pitch it to Capcom and hopefully get a much bigger project, which I am not allowed to talk about. Uh, but yes, this that's hopefully the goal. Uh, and of course, this being a community project, uh, oh, we're also going to throw this up on YouTube's email, of course. Uh, but this being a community project, we need help from the community. Um, we have most of the principal cast for this already already set, like we have most of the actors, cast, and everything, but we do have a couple of roles open. So if you are an aspiring actor or someone who thinks actors suck and you can do it better, uh, please uh, shoot us a message. Uh, I'm going to put the, I don't know where the camera is pointing right now, so I'm just going to motion like here, and hopefully wherever my finger is pointing towards, there's going to be um, not on my face though. Uh, as well, uh, we need crew members, people to help out with set and everything like that. Of course you guys get credit. Um, maybe even cameos, it'd be cool. Uh, and so if you have any experience, if you'd be willing to help out on this, you know, we would really, really appreciate it guys. Um, anybody who's good with lighting, anybody who's good, good with uh, Manny Boo, please shoot us a message and you know, We'll have a good time on set, have fun, you know, we'll play some casuals afterwards, it'll be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Uh, also, uh, I hate to be the douchebag to ask for this, but, uh, if you're willing to donate, then please donate. Um, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask, I mean, any, if, if you do, we'll put your name in the credits for sure, in nice sparkly lights. If you're wondering what the money's for, we'd love to, like, I really hate asking for money, I don't want to be that douche. But um, hey, like if, if you guys donate to us, it, it'll help us pay for gas for people to come down. We have people in LA who are coming down. Uh, it'll help us pay for securing locations. For mainly, mainly we need money for lighting and for uh, for, for just renting out lights and for uh, lenses to rent out. Um, so anything you guys can give us would be awesome. But yeah, uh, if you would be willing to donate or help out, please, please, please. Uh, shoot us a line at randbatmovie at gmail.com. And if you live by UCLA, that's extra good because we have an extra small, uh, we have not, not small, but like uh, something specific that we need people from UCLA for too. So, hey, um, if you're willing to help out, please let us know. Um, this movie, we want to do as professionally as possible and make it something strong that you guys can show to other people, that we can show to other people. Uh, and we don't want to do like, uh, hey, it's a student film with crappy acting, but it's okay because it's a student film. Uh, no, we want to do this legitimately and make it good. If you're worried about my credentials as a director, uh, I did the Ultra David video, and uh, I've also done a ton of plays, written a ton of plays. I was the artistic director uh, of a theater uh, rep in uh, Orange County. A while. Um, so yeah, uh, please, uh, if you're willing to help out, sign up, and uh, hopefully we'll see you maybe early or mid-December uh, with Randbat out. We're not going to reveal the story right now because we don't want to give anything away. But yeah, that's coming out, guys, so get hyped. There you have it, word from Zed about his movie. I'd like to already announce uh, one of the cast members. 
So Alex Valle has been casted. It's going to be Edward James Olmos playing Alex Valle. Anyways, we have a pre-release for King of Fighters coming up. Make sure to check it out Monday, November 14th, presented by Level Up. And uh, with the help of Atlas, we're going to have some exclusive pre-release stream event for you on our normal channels, leveluplive.tv. And I guess that's going to do it for us. Uh, normally, okay, so this is a new structure. Normally, we play uh, AE after this, but uh, we decided that we're going to... We're going to alternate every week, so... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. So next week is going to be Ultimate Marvel. Next week, Ultimate Marvel. Then Ultimate Marvel, Ultimate Marvel, so... Okay, so all Ultimate Marvel leading up to our special events up to SoCal Regionals. And uh, we'd like to also remind everybody that the winner for the... God damn, turn off your alarm! It's annoying. <laughs> All right, we're going to remind you that the winner for the stick, the Street Fighter X Tekken stick, will be announced tomorrow. we got to go through all the submissions, see who donated 895, and pick a random person. Of course, if you donate more than 895, you're still uh, allowed in the drawing. Anything less, thank you for your donation. <laughs> and uh, that will do it uh, for James Chen, Ultra David, the folks here at Level Up, Frank Reyes, Lewis, uh, Alex Valle, and myself, AJ. Uh, We'll see you next week, Ultimate Marvel. Peace. So, quick video. You know DSP, the uh, Dark Side Veil? Well, first he had a fight with Hutch. Now he has a fight with this crazy fat beep. What's up, y'all? This is Mike Watson. Uh, I've been playing for a pretty long time, probably since uh, Street Fighter 2 came out. Like, he, there's three people, and one guy's interviewing all these three people. They're supposedly players. And, he, and he's asking these people, just a uh, common question. At your funeral, would you rather they play the Karate Kid theme or the theme from Top Gun? Theme from Top Gun. Theme from Top Gun. The other two people, they don't mention anybody. They just, they say it, they say nice. Nobody knew how to play that game, so I capitalize <laughs> on people sucking. <laughs> this, the middle guy, supposedly his name is Mike Watson. I have no, no idea who he is. In 2005, I think it was, the three of you were absent from ST Top uh, eight. <laughs> and he goes on I insulting DSP. I have no idea who he is. You got some idiot named DSP who's a total piece of <laughs> shit, by the way. I like to I like to get that on YouTube. Crazy fat beep. But this guy thought he was hot because he beat me and Choi in a game that was like it's like fucking Neo Geo conversion of Street Fighter or some crap, dude. <laughs> and then in the middle of his outburst, a fan, a DSP fan, obviously in the crowd. He yells, no, he's got 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. 20,000 20, idiots are subscribed to him. That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> he should have said DSP has 40,000 subscribers on one of his channels. Congratulations with your YouTube channel and uh, hope you enjoy your life, bro. I mean, <laughs> he should have defected him a little more, but he might not be that intelligent on one of his channels. Crazy fat. <laughs> you, now I'm, I'm going to talk to the guy. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to you, Mike Watson. You got two people, one on one side and one on the other. All right? They're talking. They're like being reasonable, nice, fairly well people. <laughs> you know what? DSP. I, I want to say DSP can knock you out in a minute. In Street Fighter and in real life. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great victory, PlayStation One Super Turbo Champion. You. No, take that, take that to your grave, bro. Good luck. <laughs> he was uh, one of the guests, I guess you can call him, at the at a uh, SoCal Regionals, basically a Street Fighter convention slash tournament.